How's it going everybody? My name is John Hammond and we're looking at Girls Go Cyber Start. This is the second video in the series. I'm in my car at work because that's apparently the only good place where I can record now. So let's dive right back into it. This is some small, simple, kind of easy, at least granular and difficulty, very, very good trajectory in what you're learning and what you're playing with um, because it's um, meant for high school students and meant for high school girls. And I am neither of those things, but we're doing it because it's fun and good internet content. <laughs> Hello world is challenge three. Below is an about me page for a well-known hacker. How would a hacker, why would a hacker display all this information about himself? Good question. It's a red herring. However, there's one secret weird way to contact him. Manage to inject on the page a hidden email address. If you find it, that's the coding to solve this challenge. So send me an email address. Send me an email. Does that do anything? That doesn't do anything. Oh, whoa. I highlighted and I found stuff. Why is that? Sorry, that was too real. I don't even know if I like that. I can't even, that's, I don't know how much challenge that really is. Let's, let's make directory 03 hello world complete, apparently, because that's all we really needed. I highlighted it on accident. I was going to, like, view the source. I was going to do some real, real stuff. All right, that's the correct code. Sweet. Let's go to challenge four. Text Mountain. Not all secret codes hidden by hackers need to be encrypted to be hard to find. Take this one example of a hacker who really loves books, so much so that he hides secret codes within them that most of the meticulous of forensic investigators, only the most of the meticulous forensic investigators could find. Words. I'm not going to read these anymore. That's stupid. Below is an extract from recent sample. Can you find the secret code? Um... What? Do I have to highlight text in this, too? On the geological success of or organic beings. I just... That's what Girls Go Cyber Start is all about, right? These interesting puzzles. Some of them are fun, some of them are silly. trying to determine what this is. It, it might be staring in my face. Oh, secret code, Makalu. Why was that there? That's, what was the name of this challenge? Text Mountain. Make directory 04, text mountain, complete. I can't even like, like I could just note like a little, oh, solution.txt and then take so like, oh, it's just in the thing, but. You know, is it worth it? Lazy locked login. The Internet of Things is a big deal these days, and we recently came across a hacker who loves hacking everyday household devices like coffee machines and fridges. One fridge he hacked has a remotely accessible page, allowing a technician to control it. The username and password are easy to find, but the form still has some very lazy extra protection. He managed to get around it. Can you? Oh, last pass. I'm glad you're here to help, dude. <laughs> Can I see what this, uh... Enter... What? What is this? Is that a... Oh, it's a fridge. It's literally a fridge. Manage to get around it. Enter. Hit the space. Hit space. Technician access only. Admin. What, what, what is the password? If I view the source of that page, does it say it? Value. Value equals password. So admin is password. Developer notes. This will be disabled if not access from the technician's laptop. I have to run this. Can I do that? Oh, I guess I could just change it in the uh, developer notes, or I could just kind of run that, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so what I was thinking is if I modified it within the inspector of developer tools, like made that button enabled, um, that would allow me to click it, or I could just copy the JavaScript value that it kind of needed to be able to display that. So. There we go. There we logged in. Um, that was fun. That one was interesting. Make directory 05 lazy locked login. Lazy locked login. Complete. Now flag dot text. And let's drop down a solution dot text. Change the element in HTML to be enabled. Submit element. 
with dev tools, whoa, caps lock, or just copy and run the JavaScript code in the console. Good enough. All right, let's keep rolling. Missing puzzle piece. Whoa. Meet Puzzler, a hacker who loves her puzzles. In fact, she loves them so much she uses them to hide secret codes. Can you find a way to complete the puzzle below and get the secret code? What is the puzzle? What? What am I? What am I doing? I can't click or drag any of these. What is this? <laughs> This is a medium difficulty challenge, and I'm just struggling hard. P6. This all worked fine. ID parent. <laughs> Deobfuscating the below JavaScript is not part of the challenge. I dig it. Let's make these a little bit visible for you guys. Attempt flag with a value. Complete the puzzle below? Are these images, like, something that I should work with? Oh, no, no. What the heck was that? Did I not see that all along? I'm probably stupid. What is that? Is that supposed to be there? Puny. You see, am I, you're seeing that too, right? This is weird, man. Do I have to download these? I feel like I have to download these. Seven, eight, nine. Let's do it. Make directory, this is challenge six, right? Zero, six, missing puzzle piece. Oh, it's a missing puzzle piece. Therefore I have to get number 10, right? Or number nine, actually. Where? Why wasn't number nine visible? Was it supposed to be? Number nine. What the fudge? So six is the one that's visible. Isn't visible. Display equals none. I should have read that! Do I have to make it not invisible? Search for zero six. Zero six, zero six. Hello. What's display equals none? Let's make that displayed. Oh, oh, you sneaky dog. It was plain text that I, could I have highlighted that? Like, is that all I needed to do? Whoa. No flag dot text. Put that there. If I refresh that page, like, will it give me the real thing again? Oh, I wouldn't have even have been able to do that. What is it that? Is that challenge? That's got to be something that's actually obfuscated. Move flag.txt to 06, blah, blah, blah. CD 06, cat flag. Cat flag! Challenge. Yeah. What is that? So, that's, that's obviously like a rot 13 something. Echo this... For I in one two two twenty six. Let's just do a quick Caesar cipher brute force Caesar I done. What is that? Is that rot thirteen? Hello. All right. Screw it. I lost my command history when I really wanted it. Is that rot thirteen? It is rot thirteen. Wow. I'm stupid. Maybe I guess I could have just checked that out originally, but. All right, man. Going on nine minutes here. Let's check it out. Let's get one more. Challenge 07, Lights Out. An infamous, ha an infamous hacker who goes by the name Lightbulb is, as you may have guessed, obsessed with many kinds of different lights. So much so that he has hacked into his local city's main control system and decided to turn off all the street lights. Oh. Oh, wait, this is a URL thing. Can you figure out how he did it? Turn them all back on. The strange thing is, if you need to get access, there's no button to turn them all off all at once. So, it's just a URL. And there are nine of them. Right? Let's get dev tools out of here. So you can see this. One, two, three, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And let's go to twelve. 
All lights are on. Yeah. All on equals true. Yeah. What is th that? What I was supposed to do, right? So much so. And they, the strange thing is, even if you get access to the system, there's no button to turn them all off at once. If you turn them off one by one, so I have to turn them all off equals true? Yeah, okay. That was a weird guess. I don't know if I could have uh, messed with that. Whatever. Glow and set in. Let's put that in challenge seven lights out. Directory 07, challenge lights out. Oh, I should have made that complete. Okay, good. I, I'm glad I got the command wrong. Complete. No, no, flag dot text. And our solution. Change the URL variable to all off equals true. Yeah, sweet. That's that. Let's call it quits here because I think we're over 10 minutes now and that's been fun and enjoyable. If you did like this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, this is kind of a fun series. You go, really don't have to like, comment, and subscribe if you don't want to. I'd be grateful, though. It would warm my heart. Give me the warm and fuzzies. Uh, please do join our Discord server. It's There's a link in the description. It's an awesome community full of awesome people. And it's just awesome. So I'm really bad at this outro. Roll the B-roll thing. <laughs>